new gadget for the van today. Uh, I've got a 500 watt 12 volt to 220 volt inverter. If you don't know what an inverter is, it basically will convert your car battery power up to 220 volts. Or maybe in America, it'll be 110 volts. Just don't get a 220 volt converter, get a 110. <laughs> um, <coughs> two ways of connecting this one up. This is directly to the car battery, so basically you take those, stick them on the battery, then just hook them up here, or buy the cigarette lighter, which is in there somewhere as well. Where are you? He's in there somewhere, I seen him earlier. Yeah, he's right in the bottom there. Um, the reason I got this is I was thinking, well, <coughs> this will give me um, power, a USB, um, for my laptop, but also my camera. The problems I've got with my camera is the DSLR. Although it's a fantastic camera, the battery life on them, using them for video, only lasts an hour. Um, and that's being polite. I think a lot of the time it's about 30 minutes. So, with that, I've now got another piece of kit that I didn't bring in the van today. Um, but I can actually hook the battery up to my camera to give it a constant feed of power. Um, which is great for doing time lapse because I want to do the the sunrise and sunset here. Um, we've had a go with the GoPro and found that the memory card didn't do too well. It got a bit corrupted with it. But we'll try with my DSLR next. Also, the weather seems to be clearing up, which will be great for that as well. Um, I think I found a better place to do the, do it from because I found it was too green on the last one. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that. The van, as you see, all the curtains are up now. Doesn't look too bad. And one of the things I will say about the Velcro, the glue on it is crap. You know, for sealing the bottom. So what I'm going to do is cut some strips up, and then I'm just going to uh, pop a bit of them on. I suppose I could super glue them on. I'll have to make a decision on that. But the reason we Velcro them is that it stops, you know, like, um, you can get the full coverage down the sides, um, it just looks tidier. But on the back window, if you don't do it, the curtain sits there and the door opens. So you sort of like open the door and the curtain's sort of hanging down. So, um, that's what's going on with the van at the moment. I've got to get the engine in. Uh, I've got a bit of an oil leak which is bugging me, but it's, it's been one since I've had it. I wonder if I can give you a quick look. Shall we have a look? Let's have a look. Ugh. Let's have a quick climb underneath. So as you can see, I think they changed the gearbox on this. They either changed the gearbox or changed the engine before I bought it. Um, and not hooked it up very well. Or well, they have hooked it up, it just hasn't been sealed properly. So I think it's going to be expensive to do, but it's going to get done. Um, the other side of that being that I don't really want to do it straight away because if it takes the van off the road, I'm stuck. So. I think it's going to be something that's going to be done in the next six weeks and I'm just not going to travel too far in the van just for safety's sake. Yeah.